All right. So today we are diving into This Could Be Us Okay. by Kennedy Ryan. Nice. Um, it is book two in her Skyland series. Cool. And we are working from the Kindle Editions Amazon page, just to be clear. Awesome. And as always, you know, no spoilers. Right. We are just going to figure out if this book deserves a spot. Yep. On that ever-growing TBR pile. Absolutely. Yeah. So what really grabbed my attention right off the bat was this description okay. of Soledad Barnes, our main character. Mm -hmm. um, she is portrayed as this meticulous planner. Mm -hmm. She's a domestic goddess. Oh, interesting. Who just thrives on order. And it makes you wonder. Yeah. What happens when that carefully constructed world is turned upside down? Oh, it definitely sets up a delicious premise. Right. And that's exactly what happens, right? Yeah. Her seemingly perfect life implodes yes. when her husband betrays her. Talk about a recipe for disaster. Oof. It's, it's like the rug is pulled out from under her and we're left to imagine how someone who's so control-oriented handles that kind of chaos. Right. The description hints at vulnerability beneath that organized exterior. Oh, okay. Making me think this is more than just a surface level romance. You've got me hooked already. Good. So does Soledad crumble under the weight of this betrayal? She does not. Okay, good. She absolutely rises from the ashes. Okay, I love it. The description really emphasizes her resilience as she rebuilds her life. Right. Prioritizing her daughters. Mm. And it speaks to a larger theme of self-reliance and reinvention. Yeah. That seems to run through the book. Okay. It's especially empowering considering the book seems to target okay. fans of authors like Tia Williams and Colleen Hoover mm -hmm. who write these emotionally resonant stories yeah. about women facing similar challenges. Okay, that's interesting. I can already see why this might appeal to someone who enjoys those authors. But is it just a feel-good story or is there more to it? There's definitely more to it. Oh. Um, it's already earned accolades like being an editor's pick. Oh, wow. And making some best of 2024 lists. Okay. And it even caught the eye of Peacock. Shut up. And is being adapted for television. Wow. That says a lot about its potential to resonate with a wide audience. That is impressive. Yeah. Okay, so we have a resilient single mom rebuilding her life. Yes. What else can we glean from this Amazon page? Because oh, yeah. the description also throws in a forbidden man yes. entering Soledad's life. Yeah. And I'm all about a little intrigue. Ah, yes, the forbidden element. Yes. This is where Kennedy Ryan masterfully injects that classic push and pull of desire. Okay. Versus fear. Mm -hmm. Soledad is drawn to this new love interest. Right. But after her husband's betrayal, yeah. she's understandably terrified yes. of repeating past mistakes. That makes total sense. It's like she's standing at a crossroads yeah. weighing the allure of new love yeah. against the potential for more heartbreak. Right. It makes you wonder if she'll allow herself to take that risk. It really does. And it raises a question for me. Yeah. If Soledad is so meticulous and organized, right. does her approach to love follow the same pattern. Ooh, that's good. Is she someone who plans for love? Mm-hmm. Or does she see it as something outside her control? That's a fantastic point. Yeah, I, I hadn't even considered that angle. Right. If she's used to orchestrating every aspect of her life, mm -hmm. how does she handle something as unpredictable as falling in love? Right. Especially with a forbidden man, no less. It's a fascinating juxtaposition, isn't it? It is. This meticulously planned life. Yeah colliding with the inherent chaos of romance. Yes. And let's not forget, right. the description emphasizes themes of strength and self-love. Okay. I'm curious to see how those play out Yeah. as Soledad navigates this new relationship. Me too. It sounds like there's a lot more going on beneath the surface than, so. than a typical romance novel. Okay, before we get too carried away speculating, yeah. let's talk about what other readers are saying. What kind of vibe are we getting from the reviews? Well, Emily Henry calls it heart-searing, sensual, and life-affirming. Okay. Which is some pretty powerful descriptors. Yeah. I'm already getting a sense that this book packs an emotional punch. Oh, I love a book that can make you feel something. Yes. It's not just about escaping reality. It's about connecting with the characters. Right. On a deeper level, what about other reviews? Well, it definitely seems to hold up. Okay. Um, NPR, for example, yeah. describes it as a gorgeously grown-up romance. Okay. And a story about self-love and reinvention. Mm -hmm. They even highlight its appeal for readers who enjoy multi-layered romantic fiction. Okay. With touches of domestic drama, scandal, and inspiration. Wow. Okay, so we've got romance, self-discovery... Yes. Maybe even a hint of suspense. 
It could be. It's sounding more and more like a book that could appeal to a variety of readers. What's standing out to you so far? Honestly, I'm most drawn to this contrast between Solid Ed's organized life mm -hmm. and the potential for chaos that comes with forbidden love. Right. How does someone so focused on control navigate a situation Yeah. that's inherently unpredictable? Does she try to plan for love? Right. Or does she have to surrender to the unknown? That's a great question, and it gets right to the heart Yeah. Of what makes this story so intriguing. Right. We're not just talking about a typical romance. Yeah. We're talking about a woman's journey of self-discovery, navigating heartbreak, yeah. and potentially finding love in the most unexpected of places. Absolutely. But let's not forget that forbidden element. Right. What do we think makes this new man off limits? That's what we need to unpack next. <laughs> okay. And trust me, it's worth diving into. Let's do it. Okay, so let's unpack this whole forbidden aspect. Okay. Surrounding Soledad's new love interest. Right. We know she's cautious after her husband's betrayal. Yes. So what could make this romance yeah. so tempting yet potentially off limits? Right. What jumps out at you from the description? Well, it doesn't explicitly say. Right. But knowing Kennedy Ryan... Mm -hmm. and the world of romance novels. Right. There are a few possibilities, right? Yeah. Um, maybe there's a difference in social status, right. a professional conflict, Ugh. or even a family rivalry. Oh. You know that classic us-against-the-world scenario right. that makes forbidden romances so compelling? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That trope is a tried-and-true method for creating tension. Yes. We're wired to be fascinated by stories where love right. defies societal norms, or faces these seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Yes. Think Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Or Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy. Right. Different social circles, clashing personalities. Yeah. Yet this undeniable pull towards each other. It's like we're rooting for them to overcome those barriers. Yes. To prove that love can conquer all. Right. But the description also mentions that Solida refuses to repeat her mistakes, yep. which makes me think this new love interest might be connected to her past in some way. Interesting. Perhaps there's a secret that could jeopardize right. their budding romance. That's a sharp observation. Yeah. Kennedy Ryan definitely knows how to weave a web of intrigue. Yes. It's those unanswered questions right. that make you want to dive into the story and find out what happens. Yeah. She leaves us with just enough information to pique our curiosity. Right. Without revealing all the cards. It's like she's giving us a taste of the delicious drama to come. Yes. Which is honestly what I love about a good romance novel. Yeah. The anticipation, mm. the slow burn. Yes. The wondering if they'll actually get together. Right. It's all part of the fun. Speaking of fun. Yeah. Have you noticed how Kennedy Ryan uses language? Okay. To evoke specific emotions mm -hmm. in the description. Mm. She uses words like heart searing and sensual. Oh, yeah. Carrying this sense of longing and anticipation. Oh, absolutely. And she describes the romance as gorgeously grown up. Yes. Which I think elevates it beyond a typical teenage love story. Right. This feels like a love story with depth. Yeah. Characters who have lived and learned. Uh huh. And a romance that's earned through experience. Exactly. It's oh, not so just about the butterflies and the first kiss. Right. It's about two people. Connecting on a deeper level. Yes. Understanding each other's complexities. Yeah. And navigating the challenges uh -huh. that come with building a relationship. And let's not forget that this is a second chance for Soledad. It is. After what she went through with her husband. Yeah. It takes a lot of courage. It does. To open herself up to love again. And I'm curious to see yeah. how that plays into her attraction to this forbidden man. Mm -hmm. Is it purely passion? Or is there a deeper connection mm -hmm. that draws them together? Maybe it's a bit of both. It's possible. Perhaps the forbidden element adds an extra layer of excitement. Okay. A sense of rebellion against the expectations of others. It definitely could. Yeah. Forbidden romances often tap into that desire. Yeah. To break free from societal constraints and follow your heart. Right. Even if it leads you down an unconventional path. And let's not forget about those themes of strength and self-love right. we talked about earlier. Yes. Do you think this new relationship could be a catalyst could for Soledad's growth? It definitely has that potential. Okay. Sometimes the most unexpected relationships can push us yeah. to confront our fears, challenge our beliefs, right. and ultimately discover a stronger, more authentic version of ourselves. It's like she's stepping outside of her comfort zone, yeah. both emotionally and perhaps even in terms of right. her meticulously planned life. 
That's an interesting thought. Yeah. We know she's a planner. Right. But how does she handle the unpredictable nature of love? Mm -hmm. Does she try to control it? Yeah. Or does she learn to embrace the spontaneity of it all? Right. I have a feeling Kennedy Ryan explores this tension in a really nuanced way. Speaking of nuance, yes. Yeah. Let's talk about the Peacock adaptation for a moment. Okay. It's not often that a romance novel gets picked up for right. television so quickly after its release. I know. What do you think drew them to this particular story? I think it's the combination of a strong female lead. Okay. A captivating romance. Mm -hmm. And those relatable themes that yeah. we've been discussing. Right. It's a story that has the potential to resonate yeah. with a wide audience. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be surprised if the forbidden aspect right. plays a major role in their adaptation. Oh, absolutely. Forbidden love always makes for good television. It does. The drama, the tension, yeah. the will they or won't they dynamic. Right. It's all very addictive. Yes. But I'm also curious to see how they portray mm -hmm. Soledad's journey of self-discovery. Right. Will they focus solely on the romance? Yeah. Or will they delve into the deeper layers of her character? I'm hoping they do justice to the complexity of her character. From what we've gathered, Soledad is more than just a love interest. Right. She's a woman rebuilding her life, mm -hmm. redefining her identity. Yeah. And finding her own strength. Exactly. She's a woman who's taking control of her own narrative. Yes. And that's something I think a lot of viewers can connect with. It's empowering, isn't it? It is. Seeing a woman rise above adversity, challenge expectations, mm. And ultimately create a life that's true to herself. Yes. And if she happens to find love along the way. Right. Well, that's just the icing on the cake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've talked about Soledad, the mm, forbidden yeah, romance, yeah. and the upcoming television adaptation. Yeah. But let's get back to those glowing reviews for a moment. Okay. They really paint a picture of a book. They do. That's both entertaining and thought-provoking. Emily Henry's description of the book as heart-searing. Yeah really stuck with me. Okay. It makes me think that this is a story that will stay with readers mm -hmm. long after they've finished the last page. Uh. It's like those books that you just want to hug Yes. when you're done because they've made you feel so much. Exactly. Do you think this could be us has that kind of power? I think it has the potential, especially uh -huh. given the themes it explores. Okay. We're talking about second chances, yeah. self-discovery, forbidden love, right. and the complexities of motherhood. Mm -hmm. These are all themes that resonate on a deeply personal level. Yeah. And I think Kennedy Ryan's writing style has a way okay. of drawing you into the characters' lives yeah. and making you feel their emotions as if they were your own. I love that it's like you're not just reading a story. Right. You're experiencing it alongside the characters. Yes. And speaking of experience, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on something Okay. that struck me as we were talking about mm. Soledad's meticulous planning. Mm. Initially, I thought, oh, that's so not me. I'm more spontaneous. Mm, right. But then I realized yeah. that we all have areas in our lives where we crave control, where we try to plan for every outcome. That's such a relatable insight. Yeah. I think you've hit on something universal here. Yeah. We all have our ways of trying to create order and predictability. Right. In a world that's often chaotic and unpredictable. Exactly. And maybe Soledad's journey is a reminder mm -hmm. that it's okay to let go a little. Okay. To embrace the unexpected. Yeah. And to trust that sometimes the best things in life Right. happen when we least expect them. That's a beautiful way to put it. Yeah. It's about finding that balance right. between structure and spontaneity. Yes. Control and surrender. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's something we can all relate to, yeah. whether it's in our personal lives right. or in our relationships. I couldn't agree more now before we get too philosophical. Okay. There's one more detail I want to touch on. Right. The fact that this is the second book yes. in the Skyland series. Right. Do you think it's necessary to read the first book? That's a good question. Before I let go, to fully appreciate this one. While each book in the Skyland series okay. features a different couple, mm -hmm. they are interconnected. Okay. Characters from previous books make appearances right. in subsequent ones. Yeah. And there's a sense of community and shared history okay. that carries through the series. So would you recommend starting with Before I Let Go? I think it depends on the reader's preference. Okay. Kennedy Ryan is known for writing her books mm. in a way that allows readers to enjoy them. Yeah. As standalones as well. Okay. 
you'll still get a complete and satisfying story. Right. Even if you haven't read the first book. Okay. However, for those who want the full immersive experience, yeah. starting with Before I Let Go, might enrich their understanding okay. of the characters in the world they inhabit. It's like choosing between watching a single episode of a TV show yes. or diving into the entire season. Right. Both can be enjoyable, mm -hmm. but the latter provides a more comprehensive and layered experience. Exactly. It's about choosing the level of immersion right. that feels right for you. Mm -hmm. But regardless of where you start, okay. I think this could be us promises a captivating reading experience. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground here. We have. But I feel like we've only scratched the surface hey. of what this book has to offer. Right. What are your final thoughts before we move on right. to the Thank critical you. acclaim? I'm genuinely intrigued by Soledad's journey. Okay. I think it's a story that has the potential to resonate mm -hmm. on multiple levels mm -hmm. as a romance, as a, a story of self-discovery. Right. And as a reflection of our own attempts yeah. to navigate the complexities of life and love. I couldn't have said it better myself. Good. Now let's ah. dive into those rave reviews and see what other readers are saying about this could be us. Okay, so we've talked about the plot, the characters, even the TV adaptation. Yes. Now let's get to the good stuff. All right. Those rave reviews. Yes. We know Emily Henry called it heart-searing, sensual, and life-affirming. Mm -hmm. What other gems did you find? Well, it seems like self-love and reinvention are key themes here. Okay. NPR highlighted those. Right. And they really jumped out at me, too. Yeah. It's not just finding a new love. It's about... Soledad finding herself right. after everything she's gone through. Yeah. Do you think that resonates with readers? Oh, yeah. Who love this genre? Absolutely. Okay. So many people are drawn to romance because they're also on a journey of self-discovery. Right. It's like if the character can find love and happiness, yeah. maybe there's hope for me too. It's almost aspirational. Right. Like if Soledad can rebuild her life and find love on her own terms, yeah. maybe I can too. Right. And that ties in beautifully with the themes of strength and empowerment yeah. that Kennedy Ryan seems to weave into her stories. It's giving strong female lead energy, which I'm always here for. Yes. But it's not just about being strong, is it? It's about reclaiming your identity. Yes. Embracing your worth huh. and defining happiness on your own terms. You hit the nail on the head. Yeah. It's about agency. Right. About making choices that align with your values. Mm -hmm. And about refusing to settle for anything less right. than what you deserve. Yeah. And those are messages that resonate far beyond the realm of romance. Okay, so we've got a compelling story characters we can root for. Yes. And themes that hit deep. Mm -hmm. No wonder This Could Be Us is getting so much buzz. Right. It's hitting all the right notes. It is. But what about the writing itself? Well. Anything stand out to you from the description or, sure. or the reviews? Well, beyond those individual words like sensual that we mentioned, yeah, I think the reviews really capture the overall feeling right. Kennedy Ryan creates. Okay. NPR calls it a gorgeously grown-up romance. Okay. Hinting at both maturity and passion. It sounds like she manages to balance those two elements really well. I think so. It's not just about the steamy scenes. It's about a love. Right. That's built on a foundation of respect, understanding. Yes. And shared experiences. Exactly. And that depth is often what elevates a romance novel yeah. from being purely entertaining to being yeah. truly memorable. Mm. It's about creating characters we care about, right? relationships we invest in, yeah. and stories that stay with us long after we've finished the last page. You know, it's funny. Earlier, we were comparing Celadad to mm -hmm. someone who meticulously plans everything. Yeah. And while I admire that in a character, I'm more of a go with the flow kind of person. Yeah. But reading this description, right. I'm starting to wonder if that's always the best approach, you know? It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. We tend to gravitate towards characters right. who embody qualities we either admire or aspire to. Yeah. And sometimes those characters challenge mm -hmm. our own beliefs and behaviors. Maybe there's something to be said for a little bit of both, right? I think so. A balance between planning and spontaneity, control and surrender. There you go. Yeah. It's about finding that sweet spot. Right. That equilibrium that allows us to navigate life's complexities mm -hmm. with both intention and openness. Okay, so before we wrap things up, I have to ask, yeah, yeah. what are your overall impressions of Soledad? Mm -hmm. What kind of person do you imagine her to be 
based on what we've learned. Based on the description and those insightful reviews, mm -hmm. I picture her as someone who is fiercely independent, okay. resilient, and deeply devoted to her daughters. Right. But beneath that strong exterior, yeah. I sense a vulnerability, right. a longing for connection, mm -hmm. and a fear of repeating past mistakes. It's like she's a walking contradiction, right? Yeah. This meticulously organized woman who's also capable of experiencing such intense emotions. Exactly. And that's what makes her so compelling as a character. Yeah. She's not one-dimensional. She's complex, yeah. flawed, and ultimately relatable. I think that's what draws us to these stories, isn't it? I think so. The chance to see ourselves reflected in the characters. Yeah. To experience their triumphs and their struggles. Right. And to ultimately find hope and inspiration in their journeys. Beautifully said. Wow. And that brings us to the heart of This Could Be Us. Yeah. It's a story about second chances, about self-discovery, mm -hmm. about embracing vulnerability. Right. And about finding love in the most unexpected of places. And let's not forget about that forbidden element. You can't. It's, it's like the cherry on top of a delicious sundae. It certainly adds an extra layer of intrigue and anticipation. Yes. I'm eager to see how Kennedy Ryan navigates those complexities mm -hmm. and, and whether Soledad allows herself to take that risk. Me too. And you know what? I think we've done a fantastic job. I think so too. Of unpacking the essence of this could be us. Yeah. Without giving away any major spoilers. I agree. We've explored the themes, the characters, mm -hmm. the critical acclaim, and even the upcoming TV adaptation. We have. We've covered a lot of ground. Yeah. And hopefully we've piqued your curiosity enough right. to add this book to your TBR list. I hope so. I know I've added it to mine. Good. Now, before we sign off, I want to leave you with one final thought. Okay. Remember Soledad's meticulous planning uh -huh. and her desire for control? Yes. Do you think she ultimately finds happiness mm. by sticking to her carefully crafted plans? Right. Or does she find it by embracing the unexpected okay. and letting love lead the way? That's a great question to ponder. It is. It speaks to the heart of the story yeah. and the choices we all make in life. Right. Do we try to control our destiny mm -hmm. or do we surrender to the unknown yeah. and trust that everything will work out in the end? I guess we'll have to read the book to find out. I guess so. But that's the beauty of a good story, isn't it? It is. It leaves us with lingering questions, sparks our imagination, and mm. ultimately inspires us to find our own answers. Well said. And on that note, we'd love to hear your thoughts on This Could Be Us Yes. or any other Kennedy Ryan books you've enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Feel free to share your insights. Yes. And join the conversation on our social media channels. Until next time, happy reading.